Okay, what the heck? If that's not scary, I don't know what is. Well, it's that time of year again where big horror movies are coming out to theater, and that's because Halloween, which is the devil's night, is coming up. It's around the corner. Movies like Halloween, Overlord, The Silence are coming out very soon. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think is the scariest movie of all time? Mine, well, it might be Halloween or The Purge movies, because what if something like that actually happens? It's, it's scary to think about. Like, where would you go? Where would you hide? These, these are my thoughts in my head. Like, if the purge happens, what am I doing? Also, just letting you guys know, we're coming out with a most amazing top 10 Hindi channel. You guys can click right over here. You guys can be one of the first subscribers to it. So, we're actually getting a new host on this channel, most amazing top 10, for the first time in like three years, which is insane. So, you're going to be seeing a new host soon. She's going to be on this channel, and she's going to be hosting this channel in Hindi as well. So, you guys should go check that out and tell us what you guys think. New video on that channel is coming very, very very soon and I'm super excited. All right, so let's get right into this list. This is the top 10 scariest moments in movie trailers. Lots of jump scares, so brace yourselves. So even before the movies come out, movie studios are trying to scare the crap out of us. So starting off on this scary list, and at number 10, we have a movie trailer that actually was too scary that it was banned from YouTube as a trailer ad. Too many people are complaining about, they were like getting so scared. And of course, we're talking about The Nun. Hello. The trailer was actually super scary, but the movie I wouldn't actually say the same about. I watched it, and to be honest, I wasn't impressed. I went to Rotten Tomatoes just to see what it was rated, because you know, they're, they're always right. And also I wanted to see what others had to say about the movie, and it only received one and a half stars. And I was like, damn, I agree with that. Have you guys seen The Nun? What did you think? Another Nun movie is Hereditary. And this movie trailer comes into this list at number nine. For some reason, production companies and the media wants nuns to appear as like very evil and scary things for some reason. I wonder if there's a meaning behind all of it. At the end. Mom? I don't like this. Dad, I don't like this. What's happening? Pina! Don't you ever raise your voice to me! I am your mother! This movie came out in June of this year, and it's an American supernatural horror film about a family that has been haunted after the death of their secretive grandmother. They learn a lot about her. The budget for this film was only $10 million, and it actually made eight times that much in theaters. A private production company called A24 Films actually released this movie, and Hereditary is their highest grossing film in their six years of being founded. Number eight, this next movie just freaks me out. If you guys haven't guessed it already, that was Paranormal Activity. All of the movies are just freaky. I hate things recorded at nighttime because you just never know what you would capture. I will never set up a camera as I sleep. If ghost exists, it's fine. But I don't want to see a ghost flying over me while I'm sleeping. The first Paranormal Activities movie came out over 10 years ago in 2007. It was originally developed as an independent feature film that was screened at a film festival, but Paramount Pictures picked it up, modified it, and turned it into the scariness it is today. The budget for the film, it's a shocker, but it's only $15,000, which is insane when you think about it because the movie brought in almost $200 million. Talk about return on investment. Imagine being the one that sold it to Paramount, you sold it for $1 million, and then the film makes $200 million. You just never know the value of some things sometimes. Just like that guy who bought pizza with 10,000 bitcoins years ago when it was worthless, today that pizza is worth over 80 82 million dollars, huge mistake. Poltergeist is up next at number seven. I want you all to clear your minds. They already know what scares you. Now this is a scary movie. I watched it in theater and there was so many jump scenes. Producers who made this trailer made sure to preview us with some of those jump scenes. I hate movies that are just super quiet and the buildup is so long. You know something is about to happen and you wait and you wait. <laughs> 
Okay, sorry for your ears. Hopefully they're not bleeding. I know you guys from the comment section be like, rip ears. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. And uh, hopefully you didn't get scared too badly. I don't, I don't think you guys did. I don't know. Next up, number six. I like your dolls. My, my, my husband's coming back. Just, just take whatever you want. And just, just get out. was Annabelle. I know you guys all guessed it already, this supernatural horror film was the sequel to the horrifying movie The Conjuring. The film was inspired by a story of a doll named Annabelle told by Ed and Lorraine Warren. This was based from a true story and knowing that scares me even more. Imagine Annabelle was real. There wasn't much of a budget for this film. It only cost 6.5 million dollars and I know I'm like it's not that much money. It's only six and a half million but in Hollywood that is a little bit. That's pennies. That's pocket change. And just to Imagine they put more money into this movie. I mean, the movie was good, but what if there was even more craziness in there? And you know you're gonna make your money back because I mean, The Conjuring, this is the sequel to it, The Conjuring brought in over $300 million. So this one, you expect it to do about the same. Moving into number five, we have The Strangers. Get ready for this one. This movie came out 10 years ago and it is about a couple who decided to have a relaxing weekend at their family vacation home. Well it didn't turn out to be that relaxing because they were being hunted down. Three masked intruders started to attack the couple as they fought for survival. This movie was based from real life events from the Manson family murders. Number 4 Happy Death Day This movie is about this woman who is murdered on her birthday but she gets killed and then she wakes up from her like nightmare. Well she keeps dying and dying dying and dying and then keep waking up waking up waking up until she figures out who the murderer is and it's actually pretty good I, I liked it well here's the trailer for you guys Number three, don't hang up. Hello? This is Kobai. This is the police, ma'am. You need to listen to me. We have your what? house surrounded. What? Keep your lights off and stay where you are. There's a man inside your house. Oh my god, my daughter! I need you to stay where you are. Listen, listen to me! Is this real life right now? That is the scariest thing to wake up to. This movie is beyond scary. This man calls people and he gets pissed off if they hang up. Well, here's another part of the trailer and it gets even scarier. I don't know who the hell you are, but this has gone on long enough, right? I'm hanging up for good. Go ahead. Be prepared to reap the consequences. Holy shit. My parents? Tonight, you get to decide who lives and who dies. Call 911 and they'll get to this guy before he could do anything. Afraid it's not gonna be that easy. Oh, Moving into number two is one of my favorite movies to watch during the holidays, and I don't know why that is. It's the opposite of the holiday. Well, the movie is called P2. It, not a very popular movie. I don't know if a lot of people have heard of it, but it's about this woman who finds herself trapped on P2, you know, in a parking garage. Well, here's the trailer. Please, if anyone can hear me, someone's trying to kill me. Merry Christmas. 
I think they hit that right on the nail. The only thing more terrifying than being alone is realizing you're not alone. That was the craziest thing ever. There was a crazy security man who tries to kill this woman that he likes. What is it with people who murders people or tries to kill people that they love or they like? That's not how you show affection. Finally, number one, I don't know how you would make a list like this and not include it. I really enjoyed this movie and this movie is a reason why millions of people are scared of clowns. Stephen King did an amazing job and fantastic job with the storyline and I can't wait for the next movie to come out. I still can't believe how thick the books are. Like if you guys go to chapters or go to your bookstore, look for the book It. Like it is like, it's hella thick. Like it, it's, it's a pretty big read. I'd rather watch the movies though. <laughs> So much going on in this trailer. The book was actually written back in 1986, so it took over three decades to realize that the storyline is so good that it's good enough to be converted into a featured film. Stephen King is a brilliant creative man who knows how to scare people. The movie brought in over 700 million dollars, which is not bad for a Warner Bros. clown movie. Well, there you guys have it. That's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully, I didn't scare the shit out of you guys too much. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video.